Morning, everybody. <laughs> With the mountains and the clouds in the background. The excitement of today and the sadness of today are both real, as this is going to be our final live stream of the week. As I say it, I kind of have goosebumps. I <laughs> Quite literally. It's been a very exciting week, and it is currently exactly 5.30 a.m. Let's do that again. It is currently exactly 5.30 a.m., and as you can see on my watch, it's nice and cool still at 19 degrees, and we are in ghetto. And I started by morning by climbing about half a billion stairs. I just want to say thank you so much to Cookie Ninja for kicking things off with the Super Chats today, saying thank you for all the streams recently. Gives me something to watch while I work. Well, thank you. So, let's go explore Ghetto Onsen, a town of, you would think, a thousand onsens, because it's an onsen town, but it's a town of one onsen. So right here, we have Onsenji, the Onsen Temple, and it's where things are going to kick off today as we walk down about six billion steps. So Tim Hempstead, thank you for keeping the ball rolling with that 5.30 a.m. coffee time. I knew Tim was gonna chime in with coffee because Tim is awesome like that. And so I've actually, again, pocketed myself a coffee. This one is actually from a company called Koi Wai. Again, none of this is sponsored. I just really like Koi Wai coffee. Whenever I find it, I grab it. So this area here is Onsenji or Onsen Temple. Now, for those of you who don't know, who are joining in and joined in because you were like, well, what is an Onsen? An Onsen is a Japanese hot spring taken right from the ground. Now, there is something that makes this area really special and different. And we'll get to that in just a second after I pass on a huge thank you to Silver. I'm going to guess that's how it's pronounced. The XLLVR. Did I get it right? Is it Silver? So with the super chat ball rolling on saying 4.30 a.m. for me. Have a coffee for both of us. I absolutely will. Thank you so much for keeping things rolling there. This, yes, I got it right. Yes, good. You made a name that's easy to follow. So let's take a peek here at the Onsenji Temple. It's a really standard, but at the same time, very beautiful temple. And when you get to this angle over here, there, it's really, really got the beautiful Japanese aesthetic to it. We've got this building back here. And thank you so much to Benjamin Schaefer for keeping the ball rolling on the super chat saying, loving the early streams here in California. So this water right here, obviously you guys won't be able to touch it and feel it. Usually water coming out from a temple stream like this is just water. But this is actually hot onsen water, hot spring water right from the ground. And you can actually see the mineral buildup on the side there. How I wish that we could just go in and walk through here. Look at that. And Indysore, keeping the ball rolling once again, saying thank you for an awesome week of streams. It has really been an awesome week. And when you guys see the view ahead of us here, you'll understand why this was it's a really good place to wrap up our week. But despite the week of streams itself wrapping up, every single day I have also recorded 4K walks to take us through. So 
there are still plenty of videos to come. This here is Ghetto Onsen. And a huge thank you to Rob C in there with a two pound super chat. Hey Norm, give Japan a hug for all of us. There we go, huge hug given to Japan. I also just always feel very, I, I don't know, it's, uh, it's nerdy of me and I'm just gonna go for it. I feel very ninja-esque coming over like the temple wall like this and peeking at things over, you know, is it just me? Does anybody else feel like, like a secret ninja right now? Climbing along the, or am I just nerding out way too heavy? I think I'm just nerding out way too heavy, so. And Sasha in there keeping the super chat ball rolling with a morning cup of coffee. Sasha, thank you so much for that. I'm really glad that you've been enjoying the Patreon side of things. You guys have gotten to know where we're going before we get there almost every single day. So it's been an absolute blast. Thank you all so much for interacting. All right, it's a dilemma. Each time I see those gorgeous places, I want to travel south to Japan, but the climate, yeah, it can get quite hot here. So today's gonna be the stream of a thousand steps. But before we do that, there's actually a hidden onsen shrine behind here that I meant to check out yesterday and I didn't check out. So we're gonna go take a peek for it. I've been flying so many drones lately that <laughs> my mind is in drone signal mode. So if you get a building between you and the drone, there's a good chance you might drop signal because of the remote. So I'm like, oh no, I'm gonna get a building between us and the city. I hope I don't lose signal. How is the signal quality doing today? Let me know. So Wayne Grover in there, really keeping the ball rolling with the super chats, saying thank you for all the live streams. They have been amazing. Your data usage must be huge for this week. I will be honest with you, it has been huge. It, uh, if you caught yesterday's live stream, you'll know that the Wi-Fi has been great for download, but not so great for upload lately. So thank you for that, greatly appreciated. And this is the little Inari shrine right here. Look at the aesthetic with the green in the background. It is so beautiful. Beautifully dressed up here. These are some pretty cool foxes. They're serious dudes. Very serious dudes. All right, let's go check out that view and the near 8 million steps that we're gonna need to take today. Cause it was a lot of steps to get up here this morning. I figured this, these steps would be how I would wake up, so. And, ooh. Sachi is in here with a 490 Super Chat saying, good morning, I can't believe I'm awake. Sachi, considering that we are both in the same time zone here in Japan, I can't believe you're awake either. And Sachi, I am happy to tell you that Sachi, every now and then, likes to follow along on some of the walks that I've done on Tokyo Lens, or I guess now on Tokyo Lens Explore. And we're going to be doing some exploring of Tokyo in the next couple of weeks. So stay tuned for that, Sachi. Hopefully there'll be a nice walking route for you there. And Almanac's back in today. Good morning, saying at this time in the morning, it's only you playing ninja. I know, the light's up. You can't really be a ninja when the light's up. You gotta be a ninja in the dark. And Almanax once again saying the stream looks like 320p quality today. Again, if you're tuning in and you're not used to actual live streams, go to the quality selector and select the 720p and that will give you 
the best quality available. People have been kind enough to send in all of these different ways that I could potentially stream higher while walking. But to be honest, while doing streams, hooking up my phone and walking with my phone just leads to the most simplicity and it makes it so that I can do them more often. If I don't have to do a huge setup every time, then I can stream every day like this rather than streaming once a week, maybe. So. All right, so what we're gonna do now is we are officially gonna kick off this live stream as we head down to explore the town of Ghetto. Now, at the beginning I told you there's something a little bit special about this onsen town. And it's something that I really enjoy. And so today, as we officially kick off the final live walk of our week together of live streams, let me tell you a little bit about Ghetto Onsen, starting with this view right here. There we go. Look at that. Do you guys see how many stairs I did this morning just to get up here, including the ones that we did up there at the top? So just gonna, just gonna go ahead and point that out. I might be a little too proud of all those stairs, but I also did this yesterday, so. And Slices of Japan, good morning again, saying, hey Norm, I'm back once again to bringing you funds for coffee and a massive thank you for the wonderful series of live streams. You rock, my man. I've been loving the channel name since the first time I saw it, Slices of Japan. Thank you so much, and I really appreciate you keeping the super chats ball rolling as we do this adventure, especially seeing we are here on the last stream of the week. So we are going to head out into the city now, but I want you to take note of these tanks that you see here. It's pretty easy to guess what's in those tanks, but there's something very, very special about Ghetto Onsen here, and that this entire place is called Ghetto Onsen. Usually, something Onsen is the name of the onsen or the building or the particular spa or bathhouse itself. Whereas Ghetto Onsen is just this town. It's referred to as Ghetto Onsen. And that's because whereas many onsen towns, for example, like Beppu, where they will have a whole bunch of onsen all over the place drawing water from the ground, Ghetto Onsen draws it all from one place. It gets all stored in a massive tank and then distributed to other tanks throughout the city to be used by the smaller onsen and bathhouses. So that is a very, very special and unique play on the onsen here in Ghetto. And Don Roberton just blew my mind with a massive super chat here. Thank you so much. Allow me to read this one out saying, thanks Norm for all the content. It's great to see both the live streams and pre-recorded videos with all the amazing stuff you do. I also think you should do Norm's stair ratings where you rate all the stairs that you do. Okay guys, allow me to introduce Norm's stair ratings at the request of Don Robertin here. This is something that we're gonna be adding to every single live stream moving forward. Don Roberton, a huge thank you for that massive super chat and keeping things rolling means absolute world to me. These stairs here, we're gonna go on a scale of one to 10 on the Tokyo Lens Explorometer Stair Scale. That's right, it's gonna be the Explorometer Stair Ratings. I would say these stairs here make a solid eight, maybe an eight and a half. They're not too steep. They're definitely wide enough for my feet to fit on. And they're on a slight incline, which makes them lose a point or two because they're not entirely like flat. They're kind of leaning down like this. 
uh, but they lead to a great view in both directions so they make up a lot of points right there and that right there is why these stairs right here get an 8 to an 8 out of 10. So if at any point I come across a beautiful set of stairs and I happen to miss adding the stair rankings to our Explorometer, you guys please remind me. So again, thank you so much for that wildly, wildly supportive super chat. It means absolute world to me. And we are now rating stairs as a result. And I just want to say, again, <laughs> I had Zach in here keeping the super chats rolling as well, saying, never sent a super chat before, but thanks a lot, Norm. Honestly, Zach, thank you. Thank you so much. It means the absolute world. And Luminita, I've, is, that, is that your real name? I love that name. What? Please tell me that's your real name. Like, it, it's almost too nice to actually be... Is that a real name? I'm just so excited about this. Keeping the super chat ball rolling by saying hello. Your videos are always the highlight of my day. I now have so many ideas for my next trip to Japan. I think I'll need at least three more trips. And I love that. I absolutely love that. You see, that first trip to Japan is always just like the taste of Japan. It's like the appetizer before the meal, you know? It kind of, it's the amuse-bouche, if you will. And Japan is one of those places where you could visit three times, five times, 50 times. You could live here like myself for well over a decade and still never run out of places to explore or things to do. There we go. So we've gotten down <laughs> just, just for reference, just for reference. This is what an 8.5 on the Sterometer looks like on the Tokyo Lens Explorometer. There we go, that's, that's right. And now we are getting into the town. So the station is way down that way and we're gonna actually, we're gonna head there. But actually the, these ones look kind of steep, but if you look, each step itself is actually quite long so there's more than enough to space to fit my foot on it so really not all that bad but we are going to head off this way because can anybody tell me why they think I chose this direction I think you guys know me well enough now to be able to accurately guess why I chose this direction. Also, very interestingly, if you miss yesterday's live stream, I highly recommend you go back and check it out. It's one of the most beautiful villages in all of Japan, Shirakawago. And just up a bit behind and back from the Onsenji Temple, there's a Gasho style village very similar to Shirakawago with a few preserved houses back there. So, and Luminita is saying, yes, it is my real name. It means light. Yeah, and you can just kind of feel it too, Luminita. You just feel the light coming from it. I absolutely love that name. Thank you so much for chiming in and keeping the ball rolling on the super chats and for sharing that with us. So. And yes, the time. Tight beast in there, absolutely nailing things, saying you took the smallest path possible always. Ooh, look at this. Look at this. Also, I do want to give a huge, huge shout out and thank you to Patreon member The Color 12, who has actually been tracking the route of all of these maps and putting together. Google Maps that I will eventually update the description boxes of the streams with. Huge effort, huge, huge effort, and a massive thank you from me and from everybody who loves following along with those maps. Just incredibly wonderful and kind thing to do. So the Color 12, thank you so much for that. And a huge thank you to Tim for pointing that out to me. 
No, I've been spending hours and hours on the road. E now, not a lot of this town is abandoned, but I'll say this, not a huge, <laughs> I checked and Ghetto actually doesn't have that big of an issue with bears, but it just seems to be the, oh, signal got a bit choppy there for a bit apparently. Bad signal spot. Thank you guys for letting me know. We're going to walk back this way because there is a different path I wanted to go down anyway. So let me know if the signal comes back. And as we do this, we clearly, clearly missed out on a chance to take some stairs here. But I want to give a huge... Thank you to Cynthia for keeping the super chat ball rolling, saying, I can't believe this is the last stream of the week. This has been the best week ever. Thank you so much for bringing us along with you, exploring these spectacular areas. Japan truly is a magical land. Honestly, Cynthia, thank you so much for being a part of it. You were part of the Patreon crew who helped plan out and make this adventure possible to begin with. So, honestly, a massive thank you to everybody who planned this route for me. This has been truly something else. And more amazingly is the patreon crew chose easily a hundred plus locations just in northwestern japan for us to explore which means chances are this is just going to be road trip one of many and d493 keeping the super chat ball rolling by saying thanks for this week which of the places surprised you the most on this journey. Takayama surprised me by its beauty. I would say the moss covered forest that I explored two days ago and I did a pre recorded 4K video of. Probably just, uh, I, I did two separate moss covered forests. One was like a temple shrine, shrine forest. And it really, really, just wow i cannot wait to put out that video as well as magome juku magome juku was actually a very exciting and emotional place for me as it's a place that i have always wanted to go to um since like 2005 when i came to japan for the very first time and magome juku itself is a place that i've never gotten to go to and to be able to finally step through that area and explore it, I, it was exciting and emotional and just, yeah, it was quite, quite wonderful for me. And interestingly enough, Takayama, Hida Takayama, if you guys have seen the video of the Shamisen restaurant out in Asakusa, that building was actually moved from Hida Takayama to Tokyo. So, okay. Quiz time. Ladies and gentlemen, we have Ghetto, Ghetto, Butter Stand. Can anybody tell me why the logo of this is a frog? Ah, yes. And you know what? I have forgotten to give a reminder. If you haven't already, give that like button some love. Let's see if we cannot spike this like to 250 within the next minute. So D493, I hope that answers your question. And again, thank you so much. Yes. Ghetto or kiddo, kiddo, ghetto or kiddo, kiddo is the sound that they say a frog makes in Japan. So around the town of Ghetto Onsen, you will see a lot of little frog statues all over the place. 
And wow, I just want to say huge thank you to Carla O'Connell saying, missed out on the streams this week, cannot wait to go back and catch up on Shirakawa Go, was the highlight of my last trip. Yeah, to anybody who's been out to Shirakawa Go, it is just the place to be and, and it, I, I'm glad that I could bring it to you guys. I really am. I'm genuinely smiling and happy right now. So sweet Archangel also in here saying, morning Norman everybody. Can we get a sewer lid hunt today? Absolutely we can. Let's take a look right here. Let's come around. There we go. It says, it says, good bath, good town, ghetto. Iyu, imachi, ghetto no machi. There we are. And is the signal holding up okay, everybody? Not the best quality right now. It's anytime we get near here. So let's keep walking down this way and see if we can recover the quality. I'll just pick up the pace a little bit as we walk. Keep me updated. And as we continue to walk, I'm gonna come in and say a huge thank you to Monique for keeping the super, ball ch uh, super chat ball rolling, saying always nice to join you in your exploration. Please get some coffee and thank you for all your effort. Well, thank you very much for that, Monique. If the signal picks up, let me know so I can just keep an eye on things. And Annette Anderson in there. Good morning, Annette. How are you doing today? Saying hi, Norm. Morning coffee for you. Thank you so much. And I just want to say, I really appreciate those of you who are like, you know what? Audio quality is fine. Just keep sharing stories because the live streams more than anything are just the opportunity for us to hang out, connect, do a little story time. I have a rock in my shoe and I'm currently trying to get it out. So that's why we're stopping. So... The bears have killed the video quality. Wonderful. As we get down closer into the city, there's a gorgeous river. And as we head down there, the signal quality should improve. And Elaine is in here saying, buck, 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 buck. and that's because Elaine always jumps in and is nice enough to share some chicken with us. So Elaine, thank you very much for that. And Halo Merc 5423 saying, hey bud, I'm always happy to see you exploring uh, again. Quick question, because I noticed you have a hydration issue. Well, it's not a hydration issue. I just walk and talk a lot as I stream and it's really hot. <laughs> uh, have you thought of getting a camelback? I've thought about it, but honestly, it's one more thing I would have to worry about and carry, and it's one more thing that we get added. The goal is simplicity. In fact, I wear, I have three pairs of the same pants that I bring on these adventures, and I have three to four of the exact same t-shirt. I eat literally the same thing every single day for most meals, not all, but most. And this is how I limit out the number of things I need to concern myself with so that we can make as much content. At the moment, I'm shooting as much as six pieces of content every day on any given day. So I really want to be able to focus on that. I appreciate the, the idea of the Camelback. That would be great. Just again, one more thing that I got to worry about carrying around and cleaning and keeping maintained. And, And I'm glad the video quality has improved here. So, so yes, uh, Halo Merc, again, thank you so much for that. I know all of these always come from a place of care and concern, and it means the absolute world to me. And so I try to give the clearest answer I can as to why I don't use one of those. Also because for a lot of these streams, I need to carry around a full backpack 
more often than not as much as 35 to 40 kilograms of stuff because I don't want to leave it all in the the van as I go and do my walk so and Stephanie keeping the super chat ball rolling here saying watching with a friend hi from us hi Stephanie and friend hope you guys are doing well all right so let's go take a peek at the map so that you guys can have a rough idea of where we are and what we are up against here on today's stream so we got about 15 more people to get that like button count up to 250 let's have some fun with it gamify it see if we cannot get there so right now we're along this tiny little river creek thing here we are right here and just as i mentioned before so we were up near the onsenji temple now if we were to come up this road and go up here this is the gasho here and there's a foot bath up there as well i have my doubts about the signal up there but maybe near the end of the live stream we can try to venture up there and see if it doesn't totally kill the signal if it does well then at least we tried but i want to box off some of this ghetto onsen area before we do that so and farin in there saying thank you for these streams love having them on the background while i am working Farron, thank you so much for that. Thank you for keeping the ball rolling with those. Next target, 300, 360 watching. You do the math. Love it. And Mobile Mick in here, keeping the ball rolling on the Super Chats by saying thanks for the stream. Time for me to sleep though. Mobile Mick, thank you. I hope you have a great night. I will catch you in the next one because the next ones will be crazy. Crazy beautiful. I always got to keep the camera pointed just a little bit up so that it actually balances out the light for the sky well enough. Also, since right now beside me here there's this river, this stream, and it's incredibly loud where I am. Like I can barely hear my voice as I'm talking into the phone. Is everything okay? Is the audio all right? Can you guys still hear me okay? Am I being drowned out by the sound of the river? Let me know. And as you guys do that, I am going to take a quick sip of my coffee. If I can get it open without dropping it. Excellent. I'm glad everybody can hear loud and clear. I saw one little question in there asking what mic do I use? The name of the game, again, as we talked about a minute ago, is simplicity. And the goal is always just to keep things. I just want to have pop the phone onto the gimbal and go. That's it. If we can do that, then we can stream all over the place anytime. And look at these little guys here. These look like the mascot from Hida Takayama. Lots of them. Like a lot, a lot. And Molina back in here. How's it going? I hope I'm saying your name right. I always hope. Hello from Poland. By the way, a country that I absolutely need to get to in the next half decade. I would, I, I think I talked about this maybe once a year ago, but I've recently realized that the vast majority, if not almost all of my closest friends are from Poland. Don't know how it happened. Love the kindness, love the creativity. I cannot wait to get out and see Poland myself, but allow me to read out your message here. It says this week's live streams were amazing. 
my grandma wants you to tell you she loves all of your shamisen videos. Stay awesome. Wow. Okay. First off, thank you, obviously, for keeping the ball rolling with the super chats, but also a huge thank you to your grandma for being so kind as to watch the shamisen videos at all. That's, that, that's amazing. <laughs> I don't have words for that. So... Thank you to you, thank you to your grandmother. And honestly, I hope that someday we can come out to Poland to do some form of shamisen performance. So later on, we are gonna wait, wake, we are gonna wake our way. We are going to make our way back up, all the way up that hill and see if we can't make it to the Gusho village. Before I started the stream, when I did that like six billion stairs, I thought, okay, I don't think I'm gonna be doing this Gusho village thing. I am exhausted, but you know what? Now that we are rolling, we got the chat going, we are hanging out, we're having a good time. I feel like I have all the energy in the world. So we are gonna do our best. There we go. And this place is called Turkey's Bar for some reason. I wonder if a turkey runs it. There's almost not a flat road in this entire area. Now, yesterday, allow me to tell you a little bit about yesterday's walk. Because yesterday's walk was one that I, for a bit, doubted I'd be able to pull off. Yesterday's walk took us into a place that is said to be, even by Japanese people, a very secret spot, a hard to find spot, a spot that you can find on Google Maps, but managing to find the access point to it as it's hidden across a river with no road on that side, Finding the access point is the hard point. You see, even the nearest major bridge would leave you with probably a two to three hour walk and it wouldn't be through cleared paths. And so yesterday went out to find a hidden shrine based around a waterfall. And in order to find this hidden waterfall, shrine i had to drive i'd say probably three and a half hours into the mountains now if you caught yesterday's you know what i worry about the signal but i also i also kind of really want to see this shrine so we're gonna go up here and check out this shrine just keep me updated on the signal now if you caught yesterday's stream you will have heard the talk about how the night before the brakes nearly burnt out and I almost suffered potential loss of life. If you didn't, that, story's, that story is on yesterday's signal lowered already. So far, these stairs feel very standard. Signal is still reasonable, okay. Uh, these stairs are fairly standard, but as you can see, they're really uneven. They look really normal. There's nothing visually spectacular about them. They're kind of lopsided and all over the place. I will give these stairs a 4 out of 10 rating. So, here we go. I'm kind of enjoying rating stairs now. It's a thing we do. I think I should do a norm stair rating map all across Japan someday. There we go. And so yesterday I had to drive deep into the mountains to find this shrine. There we are. Not, not this shrine, the waterfall shrine. And then our walk video took us across this tiny narrow bridge that takes us across the river through the mountains on a hiking path to the shrine. 
So yesterday's Tokyo Lens Explore pre-recorded video is exactly that. It is a hiking video and I could not be happier or more excited about that. And yep, we rated these ones. We gave these stairs a four out of 10 for lack of consistency and originality in their overall appearance. They're very like, when you think stairs at a temple, you see these stairs, they don't wow me. They don't make me feel emotion. If, if stairs make me feel some kind of emotion, they're gonna get a higher rating. Anything with no emotion isn't even gonna break a five. So these are emotionless stairs. Elevator stairs. Now, if you wanna, if you wanna see some nice stairs, if you wanna see some nice shrine stairs, there is a shrine, Hie Shrine, out in the Akasaka area, and that one right there, those that that is an escalator. Now, escalators as electronic stairs, they're totally on their own in terms of their rating system, but I'll tell you, their positioning and their overall view, those are some nice stairs right there. I can't believe we're really going on about stairs. And a huge thank you to Patricia for keeping things rolling with the super chat in there saying, keep it up, keep it up. Thank you so much. As well as William, who's also keeping the super chat ball rolling here saying, I can't wait to see the confused people, <laughs> the confused faces of people a couple months from now when Norm randomly starts <laughs> rating stairs in the middle of a live stream and you guys are here for it you guys are going to be the od crew who knows that right from the start of tokyo lens explore we built in this stair rating culture and we've been having fun with it and you guys will know we've got like a we have a secret stair rating society going on right here all right well, let's walk down this way we're eventually going to find our way to crossing the river and then hopefully head up to the Gasho village. And kind of same as yesterday, in the case that the stream dies, thank you YouTube, before we hit the one hour mark, I will revive things and continue the stream as like a, a part two. Um, if it's too far out of that hour mark, or if we're nowhere near where I want it to be, then I will, go live uh if uh, yeah i'll go live on instagram so i really jumbled my words because i was looking at stuff so i'm gonna focus now and be an adult and say my sentences again so if we're under the hour mark or if we're nowhere near where i wanted to be with this stream then we will redo it with part two if we're over an hour mark and things just die. We'll go over to Instagram. We'll hang out over there and we'll do like a 15, 20 minute wrap up to the stream just as kind of a cool down. So YouTube killed my stream the other day. It broke my heart. And now I'm traumatized and terrified that it's just gonna kill the stream again. So. And I want to stop here for a second, not physically stop. We're going to keep walking and say Adams 42, who has always been a massive, massive supporter and an absolute pleasure to interact with on every single platform. Honestly, I feel so lucky that I can still look at the comment section and say that I know you guys. Like I know who's chatting. I have memories with you and I really really enjoy that. No, I don't catch every single comment that comes in anymore. But another big thing is it helps me a lot if you hang out in the comment section after the live stream wraps up. If you hang out in the comment section after the live stream has wrapped up, I read through all of those comments and it helps me get to know you. So 100% every time a stream has wrapped up, jump into the comments, even if you just type hello Honestly, that's good enough for me. But Adam's 42 in here with, again, an amazingly, amazingly generous, super, I, I got mixed up with genuine and generous. This generous super chat here saying, so considering this is the last day of our trip, let's say thank you for the adventure. 
and chance to visit, revisit these great places and also your great content. Safe journey back to Tokyo. And here's a little something for gas, highway fees, etc. Honestly, that means the absolute world to me. It is incredibly kind and I can't begin thank you enough. In fact, it's the kind of thing that I think we should all be saying a huge thank you for as well because as I mentioned in previous streams, this is what I'm calling a revolving channel. So everything that go goes into it comes back out if that makes sense. Okay, let's walk this way and make our way down to the bridge as we do some exploring. So everything, the, the goal with Tokyo Lens Explore is to reinvest literally everything that comes into the channel and use it for more adventures. So if we end up doing a day trip out to Hokkaido, you guys wanna see the snow festival tomorrow? Cool, let's go see the snow festival. You guys wanna see this giant festival that's going on in, I don't know, Kyushu, but you can't get there because for some reason the borders still aren't open or something like that. Cool. I will head down there and grab that stuff for you. That is the goal with the Tokyo Lens Explorer channel to make it something that we can all enjoy and get a little something from without feeling the pinch. And so a huge thank you for that. And I'm wondering if this here is also onsen water. It is, oh, wow, that's actually quite hot. Get on, Sam. And right here, there's a foot bath. So obviously you take off your shoes because if you don't take off your shoes, then gross. But this here's a nice foot bath. I would also put my hand in and check it, except I don't want to put my hand in the foot water, so. Okinawa. Yeah, the question of Okinawa has been coming up a lot lately. I feel like a lot of people want to check out Okinawa. And I've never been to Okinawa, so it feels it's one of those like places that I've never had the opportunity to explore. And so I still feel very cautious about like, oh yeah, let's let's go. So I mentioned earlier on that in this trip that in any given day I've been working on as much as six pieces of content. On average, I'd say between four and six each day. And we're gonna head back down this way so we can get down to the bridge. There's a beautiful bridge to cross over there which takes us over the river and over to the other side. So I've been working on our live stream and then each day I also do a pre-recorded video I was also working on a video that shows what I pack with me for one of these trips. Basically, how I survive living on the road for a week out of a minivan without going to restaurants or stopping at hotels or anything like that. And then outside of that, I'm working on a video for a major expo and I'm shooting scenes for that almost every day. We've got our pre-recorded walks. There's also a Tokyo Lens one week of traveling Japan video that I'm working on. And every now and then I still do pieces of content for the Yahoo Japan homepage. They still hit me up and they're like, hey, can you make more stuff for us? So I've been doing little pieces like that. So it is a lot of content every single day and it's been an absolute blast. And Nikki Powell, Nikki, I just want to say, I, I saw what you did yesterday and welcome to that side of the adventure. Super excited to have you. Don't forget to shoot me over a DM on the secret Instagram with your name and whatnot. And I will get back to you super soon. Looking forward to getting to know you better saying, Hi Norm, I am so glad to catch you live once again. Here's a little something for a coffee or a snack. Keep up the amazing work. Thank you so much for the generosity and keeping the super chat ball rolling. Really appreciate it. So for anybody who's just joining in right now, we are walking the streets of Gero Onsen. And that one super special thing about the Gero Onsen 
is this little frog guy over here. His name is Steve, Steve the Frog. He's the official mascot of this red sign. And he is holding a sign that says, please eat pickles. Literally nothing I just said is true. He's just a frog. His name is probably not Steve. And this says, get out. And that is the symbol for onsen. And his little shirt says, get out, get out, get out, get out, get out. And that is the sound of a frog. So get onsen again is really special because in contrast to a lot of onsen towns in Japan, get onsen has everything coming from a single source. And all of the onsen water gets collected into one giant tank and then dispersed to different tanks all throughout the city to be used by all of the different hotels and onsens and bathhouses. There's even free bathhouses that you can do when you come out here, which is really nice. And we still got just a little bit of cloud hanging out in the mountains. And if you guys haven't already, give that like button some love. We are just a couple likes away from hitting 350. There we are. I'm actually very excited to walk up into the mountains later on and do exploring up there. And this way here will lead us up to Ghetto Station. All right. And this is Atanohashi. Atanodori. I was expecting the bridge name and I read it wrong. Like a, like a five-year-old who reads kanji wrong. Any bears in the area? Yes, actually we came up across a bear warning sign just a few minutes ago. Wow. Why, why are all the, there must be some kind of fireworks or river event that happens here because all of the feet, what? Huh. All right, so. First person to find the, the mystery of what happens here at the river that they have socially distanced standing points laid out gets a high five from me. Also, I know that we're still probably not anywhere near borders opening and whatnot, but I will say this much. In the case that you ever run into me in person here in Japan or in your country, if I'm there for an event, don't be afraid to come up and say hello. I may be carrying gifts. I may not, so don't have your expectations very high, but it's, it's possible. And Michael and in here with a $5 super testing, Arara. And Squirrel Girl, awesome, awesome name. Just love it, Squirrel Girl. Sounds very Canadian, a Canadian. In here, keeping the super chat ball rolling along with Michael there saying, thank you for the awesome live streams. I'm so glad I could catch a few lives. These streams have made my week so much better. You're the greatest, Norm. Well, thank you so much. I really appreciate the kind words. This is going to be the last live stream of our full week of streaming, but do not despair. If you didn't catch that at the beginning, I will share it once again every single day this week. I've also recorded pre-recorded walks through some of the most beautiful, beautiful places that I've had the chance to experience. And I cannot wait to share these walks with you. Some are just a plain walk. Some I interlace with drone footage. Some we do hiking through the mountains. Some we go through moss covered forests and find secret shrines and temples. And these are uh, they, they are now my cherished memories, to be honest. Although I'm, I am looking forward to getting the content out to, uh, to you more than anything. I am super, super excited just to, I'm super excited just to, to have these memories there 
forever. And so, and Squirrel Girl saying, yes, Canadian, here from Ontario. Yay, Ontario boy myself. Awesome. It's actually, I'm, wow, look at this. Look at that view. Can we just take a second to appreciate that view? If that view doesn't push us up to 400 likes, I don't know what will. Wow. Give that like button some love, guys. Show some love for the view, for the mountains with the clouds rolling through them in the background. Just gorgeous. That view is 2 million out of 10, says Slices of Japan. I, I would be inclined to agree with you on that there, Slices of Japan. And Silver keeping the ball rolling here saying, there is a spring festival from August 1st to 4th with fireworks. High five to you. Thank you for that. That is my guess. I'm guessing that the spring fireworks festival that happens right here would be why they have these laid out. It was probably laid out from last year considering the fact that they look kind of worn down. That way people don't crowd and can still enjoy the fireworks festival. Silver, thank you, thank you. I'm a huge Marvel Squirrel Girl fan and a fan of squirrels. I even have a squirrel footprint tattoo. That is awesome. That is absolutely awesome. 100% here for the squirrel footprint tattoos. That is really great. So yesterday when I arrived here, I went to a bathhouse over here and I'm gonna show you this bathhouse if only as a warning of a place you most certainly should not go. And as we do that, we're gonna walk down here. So usually when I do these live streams, I start them out by having a nice meal. And then once I have had my meal, then I will kick off the live stream. That way I am good to go. But to be honest with today being the final day, I've been so excited. I literally rolled out of the van locked the door, had my gimbal and phone in hand, sprinted up those stairs and just started the live stream and completely and utterly forgot that food was a thing. So we skipped food. And as we get closer to the station, this is what the area looks like here. The station is just over here. And it sounds like we just, just missed a train that's okay. Yes. Super giant lucky cat over there, in case you missed it. And Nikki Powell in with the never ending generosity here. Wow, honestly, thank you so much. Here's a little something from my nephew, Anakin. Oh my God, come on, come on. Are we not all nerding out over the amazing name right now? Hi Anakin, super high five to you. You got really cool parents to give you such a wicked name. Uh, who loves your channel. He says, thank you for making these live streams through the pandemic and showing him the beauty of Japan. Anakin, allow me to address you personally from me to you and say thank you so much for joining and being a part of them. I'm really glad that you enjoy it that much. And from me to you, I just wanna, I wanna look you right in the eyes and say thank you I'm glad you enjoy them and I hope, I hope that you're able to come out to Japan yourself someday and see all of this. And I hope that the videos give you even just a little bit of an idea of where to, to go and what to see. So thank you. And this takes us to Ghetto Station right here, which I've never been to. I'm, I'm a little, well, it's not that long of a tunnel. We shouldn't lose signal. But before we go in there, if we can take a peek at this street here, look at that. Simple, simple beauty of a street. But Andres Monaco says, thanks for the nice views. Wow, skinning a character, crossing my fingers to go to Japan on January, 2023. Not realistic to try and go now. Cheers from Chile. Well, thank you so much for that. I appreciate you keeping the ball rolling on the super chats for the kind words and I'm gonna run
There we go. That should be okay. Hopefully we didn't suffer too much of a signal drop. And the best part of this live stream is still yet to come. Did it tank? Oh, come on. Are you guys, are you guys playing with me or did the signal really, did the signal really? We're good. Oh, bit of a hiccup. Whew, all right. At least I know that we need to run through both ways. So bicycle parking here. It always makes me wonder how many of these bicycles have just been here since the early 2000s. These countryside places don't often change out the, the bicycles as much. So, whew, the, the hunger is hitting. Give me a second to take a, a quick sip of my drink here as we walk up towards the station. And whenever I can, I like to hit the station area because if you come out here by train, it gives you a relative idea of how to explore the area from the station. So I'm happy that we were able to find the station today. And I'm just realizing now, hopefully my phone is properly charging. There we go. 400 likes, everyone. Absolutely love it. We are actually just a couple way of crossing the, the likes to viewers ratio. I think we can do it. Uh, there we are. So this here is a peak at the inside of Ghetto Station and those train platforms right there. Seems like there's a little kiosk shop here. Obviously not open right now. All right. So it seems that this might also go under the tracks. I kind of feel like it's worth exploring to see if it does. And that might connect us to that beautiful road we saw a minute ago. So we're gonna go down here. Okay, so Zach has just come in with a very good question. And I'm super looking forward to answering this one. That's right, I sing lately. That, that's also a theme of Tokyo Lens Explorer. If you haven't noticed, I sing. I actually used to make jingles. Not like professionally, I just enjoy making jingles. I'd be like, there's an air conditioner, yeah! <laughs> so, Zach has asked if I'd be interested in some point at doing a sunrise to sunset live stream. Okay. You guys know I'm super tempted to take the stairway of death that goes nowhere. But also, the tunnel here looks great. And if you guys see... Okay, I guess we have to rate these stairs, don't we? Okay. Now, remember how I said on the stair rating, if the stairs make me feel some kind of emotion that they get a higher rating. So instantly, instantly, these adventure stairs right here, they give me the emotion of fear of death. And <laughs> they're rusted, they're exciting. Something could go wrong at any moment. They could break through, they could fall over. So these right here get a solid nine. These right here are what a solid nine looks like. However, however, if you've ever played Donkey Kong, stick with me here, or Mirror's Edge, they give you the opportunity to jump to the ladder here. So the stair ladder combination and the fear of death, the fact that it references both Donkey Kong and Mirror's Edge, that right there, that's a solid 10. That's what a 10 looks like to me and the explore always, explorometer, stair 
o meter I have no idea what we're gonna name it but time to throw some barrels also again signal concerns so here we go three two and we're going through and we made it hopefully not too much of a signal dip there and we've got a little stream here oh this is a nice little stream look at that we made it through oh my what I, all I had to do was turn left and I would have saw this I wish I wish 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 you guys could see it the way that I see it right now can I can I get it to, no I'm not gonna be able to so right now there is fog rolling through the mountains back here absolutely beautiful but it's quite bright so no matter what camera I use it would have been blown out you've got fog rolling through the mountains right here you've got the hydrangeas right here you've oh the moss covered trees like this just feels like a magical little spot I love this spot. So if you want to see this spot and you're coming out to get an onsen, just run really fast through that tunnel. I think if you go slowly, this spot doesn't exist. So just a heads up there, you have to run through the tunnel in order for this spot to exist. It's, it's, it's a Ghibli thing, you know. If you've seen it, you'll know. You gotta run, you, you can't walk. Amanda in here saying, Norm, how are you even awake this early? Good morning, little K truck. He's also awake this early. All right, I'm just scrolling back to make sure I haven't missed anything. And I think I missed this. So I'm just gonna say a huge thank you to Amber for keeping things rolling there, saying a little something towards coffee. I got so focused on the stairs and the tunnel run. So if I miss anything else, Mod Squad, please let me know so I can give appropriate love and shout outs along the way. And just loving this street. I used to live in Nagasaki near a stream and during my study abroad, I loved it every day except during storms. Yeah, the streams can get really rough and aggressive, almost violent during storms. Look at this. Look at that. Gimbal smooth cinematic walk. No, I'm kidding. I meant the house. Look at this. So for those of you who have been with the Tokyo Lens channel since fairly early on, you will know my good friend Sherry who lives out in Matsuyama and Sherry I was a ma and Sherry actually lives near a river and this river a couple years back there was a massive typhoon that rolled through Shikoku and Matsuyama which is rare the typhoons actually usually skip that area entirely but this one hit and it hit hard and the river is built up and so a lot of Japanese riverbanks believe it or not are artificial they're built up in like these like nidankai uh, two level built up inclines and they're done this way for overflow so that if the river overflows or so you know something needs to dump that it can handle the amount of water and it won't overflow into the towns or whatever nearby but it had reached the top and they almost had to evacuate their home so living right near a river in Japan because of the heavy rainfall because of the potential tsunamis because of the typhoons can be quite difficult you need to be ready to evacuate at any time when moving into a new apartment I always recommend ask to see the water hazard map there's always a water hazard map for every single area that tells you with colors how dangerous your house is how at risk your house's location is and whether you are renting or buying in Japan you can request to see these maps and they will show you and that'll tell you whether or not you're safe or in danger so yay 
And that chick in Florida. All I can, I'm just thinking of chicken now. That <laughs> chick in Florida. Thank you for some of the best content on YouTube. Cheers. Honestly, thank you for those kind words. Cheers back to you. And Eva Chan in here once again, like pretty much every day this week. You've been in for like every single stream, Eva. Thank you so much for coffee and an onigiri. 100% I would get an onigiri. No doubt on that. Really appreciate you keeping the ball rolling there. Thank you so much. And this is the giant lucky cat. Um, my hand for scale. He's a pretty big cat. Okay. So, there's a bathhouse down this way. And I will show it in my full video of the week because it's not the most interesting walk to go down there and back that I do not recommend whatsoever. I got in there last night, got into the changing room and the changing room was filled with security cameras. And while I'm like, great, they won't be able to steal stuff from my locked locker because, you know, security cameras. I was also not super excited about getting changed in front of multiple security cameras. So that's a thing that I don't recommend. I've been to a lot of different Sento and a lot of different onsen in Japan. And honestly, it was my first time to ever come across one that had, okay, and it gets better, and it gets better. I don't know how personal I want to get on this story, but so I finished the bath and I got out of the bath into the changing area where all the lovely cameras are. But the thing is, the men's bath door basically opens up to the lobby and the front door. Like if you're right there checking in or if you're coming in the front door, you can just look in the men's bath. And the woman who runs the place had the men's door propped open with a chair and she was going in and cleaning stuff. Now, in Japan, having a female cleaning staff come into a changing room or a bathroom while you're there, still, it's a culture shock that I have never gotten over. It's very, very common in Japan. Mind blowing. And yes, look at the clouds. Look at the clouds. But more than that, why did you prop the door open? Everyone can see inside. What are you doing? Why? How is this a thing? And so I, <laughs> I do not recommend that bath whatsoever. It was the definition of uncomfortable. And now we're walking the other side of the river. And the goal from here is to see if we can't walk up to the Gasho style village that lines the mountains up at the top here. Fingers crossed on quality. I think it should be okay. I did a little bit of scouting yesterday and everything seemed all right. So again, fingers crossed that we can actually make it up to the Shirakawago style village that is right here behind Ghetto Onsen. Okay, so Zach, yes, Zach, thank you for bringing me back to my point because I have the attention span of a goldfish. I'm just like, oh, hey, a castle. And then I'm talking about something, and then I'm like, oh, hey, a castle. And we just keep going, hey, a castle. So I, the, the, the goal is one thing. Zach asked this beautiful question earlier, like, like probably 15, 20 minutes ago about have you ever considered doing a sunrise to sunset live stream the answer to that is a big oh yes but i want to start with something just a tiny bit smaller and so what we are going to be doing as soon as things cool down in the fall months we are going to be doing a six plus hour live stream right here on Tokyo Lens Explorer, probably somewhere along the way to you know, celebrate a milestone or something like that. So to get us two milestones quicker, if you have not already hit that subscribe button, I invite you personally to call the cops on me right now because I'm jaywalking. Going to jail for jaywalking. That's what we are doing. 
There, there we go. It's my newest jingle. It's called going to jail for jaywalking. Prison time. We're wearing orange just so I'm prepped. And everything we do from here is uphill. I actually got kind of clever with this live stream. I started the live stream uphill so I'd be able to walk downhill and everything would be easier. And then I decided that I wanted to go uphill. So that's what we're doing. Because there's a village up here that we absolutely need to explore. So again, if you haven't hit that subscribe button already, I would absolutely love to have you. So pretty thank you to you for that. Whew. Now we're gonna head up this way. The incline is much more than it looks. It always looks so flat and it's not. And I wanna say a huge thank you to Shauna Jones, who again, has been with the channel for as long as I can remember. Hi Shauna, I hope you're doing well. This is the benefit of the comment section. Always leave me a comment so I can get to know you guys. And Shauna, who I almost accidentally touched time out on, I'm sorry. It's happened to me a couple times. I open up, I tap on the comment to see what the, no. I tap on the comment to see what it says. And it's got like report, remove, put user in timeout. They're all emergency functions. So Shauna, thank you. And Shauna is in here keeping the super chats rolling by saying, thank you so much for the streams this week, Norm. A lot of new places on my list. Your passion does not go unnoticed. Keep hydrated. Thank you so much, Shauna. Honestly, it's always been a pleasure to have you on the channel. It's always been a pleasure to have you in the comment section. So thank you so much for that. <laughs> and Alvin in here actually left a pretty funny comment saying, the real reason Norm deletes his streams is to get rid of evidence of video evidence of jaywalking crimes. Actually, that's not a bad idea. We might do that. Just start getting rid of the streams all the time. I'm kidding, we won't do that. I got a request the other day that I'd like to honor and it says, when you are getting rid of live streams, at least leave them up, please, long enough. It was actually worded really well, I'm just gonna paraphrase. So we are up to here. I think we're gonna cross over to the other side and we need to make our way down one more light and up there to the village. So let's cross over to the other side of the river. So the request was that if I am removing a stream, because I won't be leaving all streams up all the time, which is why I encourage everyone to make sure that they have their notifications on, is they requested that I leave them up long enough for somebody who's, you know, maybe working a 12 hour shift or something like that, and they just started their shift, leave it up long enough for them to catch it at the very least. So I think it's a very reasonable request. It was very, very kindly worded and I am more than happy to oblige there wherever I can. Um, and Nikki Powell and Anakin in here. Hey guys. Anakin wants to ask why you started live streaming. Well, a large part of live streaming at the beginning for me was an opportunity to connect with commenters. It's kind of like a chat. It feels like I'm, I'm chatting live. And that was one of the first reasons that I started. And then I started realizing that I could use live streams as kind of a a video journal of me exploring a place for the first time. It's uncut, it's unedited, it is just you and me, so we get the video journal aspect, we get to interact with each other, and then in a couple years, I can look back and say, I did a walk there, I went there, I explored that place. And as with a lot of the places on this trip here, 
Some of them are my very first time ever going out to that place, ever. And now I have it on video. Now I have this recorded moment that I can look back at forever of the first time I ever went out to a place. And I absolutely love that idea. So Anakin, I hope that answers your question. I, whether it be through live streaming, whether it just be through recording something through audio, like a podcast, no matter how old you are, I always recommend that everybody do something to document life. I once made a video out in Nara with all the deer where I talked about how if your grandparents had a podcast, like if they sat down with a tape recorder back in like the 50s and recorded an afternoon with Gertie and Earl, and like if, you, if it was like, if you found a tape that was like a Tuesday afternoon with Gertie and Earl, you would listen to that. It could be the most boring, mundane stuff in the world, but you would want to know what your grandparents' Tuesday afternoon was like. All right, so we're getting closer. Oh, and there's a little bit of a park here. And that's a bit of a drop. We're gonna... There we go. We didn't break the gimbal, which is really nice. And Brian O'Connor keeping things rolling here saying, I'm new to the channel. Thanks for the great content. Here's a small tip towards the inevitable jaywalking ticket. Thank you so much for that. I really appreciate it, Brian. And we have the clouds now rolling in through the mountain here. And in case you're curious, yes, you can walk this entire river all the way down to the bottom. In fact, it looks like there's a bit of a trekking trail that goes up this way. And Crow Diddley. Russell Crow. All right. Let's go back up and take a peek at this sign up here. Woo! The sweat is starting to hit. All right. So what we're looking for here is the Gero Onsen Gashomuri. So we are going to head down this street here and then hopefully head up diagonally and fingers crossed that the signal stays strong and beautiful. We had doggos there. Tokyo Lens Parkuro meter. And I just want to give a shout out to Rob C. A huge thank you for keeping the super chats rolling here. Saying thanks, Norm. That was my request. Leave them up long enough for all the time zones to see them. I'm eight hours behind and would hate to miss something. Honestly, Rob, very, very reasonable request. And I have no problem doing that whatsoever. So I'll try to take into account time zones and long shifts and the clouds rolling through the mountains. I feel like when I get back, we're probably gonna have to put up the drone because it just feels like a drone kind of morning. As we walk right now, it is still 6.52 here in ghetto. And you'll have to excuse me as I grab yet another drink of my morning coffee here. Getting pretty good at drinking coffee while holding the gimbal. Hmm. There's a place up here called the Ghetto Synergy Center. <laughs> what? That synergy was just a corporate buzzword. What? You missed the stairs. Yeah, that was on purpose. There was a strong lack of consistency in these stairs. And as I believe, consistency is an essential part of life. These stairs 
get a two out of 10, so. And the June bug girl. Oh my goodness, I forgot about June bugs. Oh my Lord, I for, how did I forget about June bugs? I don't know how many countries have June bugs, but there are these like beetle things that fly around, I guess, in, in June, which is why they're called June bugs. But, okay. So, I'm gonna have you guys choose the route. There is this one here, which if you saw the map, this will take us eventually around Gashomura, or the stairs, which will take us directly up to the Gashomura. And allow me to get back to, oh no, where did the June but wait, no. I lost it, I lost it. I lost the comment. I got so distracted by the June bug thing. There we go. Thank, thank you for actually listening to your subscribers. I know many people don't. I think a lot of people do. And I think it just, it can get more challenging the more people that you have. But I personally just do it because I enjoy the comment section. And I feel so much gratitude for you guys actually taking the time to walk. Signals degrading, try the stairs. Okay. So let's head this way. And Michael in here keeping these super chats rolling by saying, glad to catch the stream. I'm hiding it in the corner of my screen while doing work. Nice. Nice. Huge love and respect for that. Let's hope that the signal doesn't die as we head to the Ashomura. Just in case it does, I'm going to give a huge special thank you to everybody who made this adventure possible this week. All the Patreon individuals who chose the spots that we've gone to. We're only about 150 meters away, but luckily the signal is getting better. I want to give just a massive amount of love to everybody who's joined in for each and every one of these K car, each and every one of these chats, everybody who's left comments after the video has gone live, everybody who has just taken time to make this adventure what it is. And just remember, there is so much more to come. So I wanted to get that in there just in case we lose signal or in case YouTube decides to do that thing where it does, where it just completely and utterly tanks the live stream. So and looking back, at the village. Uh, absolutely loving it. This is a really nice walk and I've been lucky enough not to get hit with heavy sunshine today, which means I'm not gonna have sunstroke and I'm not gonna be heavily, heavily dehydrated. So that's always fun. I'm happy when I'm not sunstroky and dehydrated. No, Raquel is saying, I have to leave for now to give you my thanks for bringing this on this great adventure. Can't wait to go to Japan. Honestly, thank you so much for your kind words. I can't wait for everybody to come out either. The things that I have in the works. Okay, if you guys only knew the surprise and adventure that I had originally had in the works for 2020. Oh, hi, Ozaimas. If you guys, I love the people here by the way if you guys only knew the surprises that I had in the works for 2020 before the world went bloop. oh boy but but it doesn't end there because someday the world will be livable again and when the world is livable I okay so we've got the parking lot here. So I no! Tell me it isn't like this. No! And we're back. おはようございます。すいません、今入ることで可能ですか？今入れますか？ここ入ってても大丈夫ですか？でもあのまだ解除してないんで。あ、はい。<笑>
。周りは散策できます。はい、わかりました、はい。はい、ありがとうございます。All right. So it's saying that this is a Gasho Mura shortcut, and I don't trust it. So we're gonna go slow. We're gonna go slow, and I'm going to. Oh, look at that. There's a song at 7 a.m. here. I love how Norm's voice goes down five octaves when he's talking Japanese, does it? Eh. Right now, the quality is great. Okay. We'll take it. So I asked him if I can go in. I asked him if it's open. And he says that the, 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 um, the entrance isn't open. Apparently, it seems like the, the kind of place that you, you gotta pay for. Apparently, you gotta pay to see houses. He's like, but you can enjoy the walk around the area, so go for it. So that's what he said. So that's what we're gonna try and do. And you can already see one of the houses up there. Is our signal holding even in the slightest? Or are we losing it? Yep, not too bad. Yeah, it's pretty steep. I'm loving the moss on the rocks here. And Kaylee, okay. Kaylee, I wanna take a second as well to welcome you to the other side of the adventure. I saw that you joined yesterday. Super excited to have you there. Looking forward to getting to know you a bit better. And it says, Norm, you've been the highlight of my week. Looking forward to all the adventures. Safe journey home. Thank you so much for that. Really appreciate it. Now I see what he means by we can walk around the outside. And flash fire, keeping the super chats rolling here, saying, how has your foot been feeling with all the walking? Yeah, actually, I think Not Scary Steve gave me a question the other day about my broken toe. You see, I had done a jogging video last year and soon after, while doing another jog, I was doing some leg swinging to stretch and wasn't paying attention and jammed my toe right into a rock, just crumpling the bone. And unfortunately, it took me quite some time to recover from that. It's getting better. I would say it's at about 98% now. And what I mean by 98% is it's completely functional. I can walk, I can run, I can do that, but I still feel pain. Not a lot of pain, like a minor pain, kind of like someone like pinching it every now and then. So it hasn't completely healed up, but yeah. Look at all of that, eh? So, if you want to see more of this kind of stuff, definitely go and check out yesterday's live stream where we walked through Shirakawago, an entire village of these types of homes. And it seems that since we're a couple hours away from Shirakawago, now, Gero Onsen is a really popular onsen town, but since we're a couple hours away from Shirakawago, it seems like they've sent up, set up a little pay to enter false Shirakawago, faux Shirakawago, Shirakawa faux. I'm going to stop now. <laughs> you can come and pay to walk around in unless you're a duck and then it's free and you can just chill because you're a duck and you can be like quack i'm a duck quack quack let's play is that not the best song ever i'm just gonna go ahead and say that is the best song ever quack i'm a duck quack quack let's play quack i'm a duck quack quack let's play oh look at that 
Oh, okay, I think this right here, this is the drone spot. <laughs> we get the drone flying right through there, past the house, into the mountains, with the city below. <whistles> that, that's the drone shot we're looking for. And this is the little pay to enter village. Also something that's really interesting here in Japan that I don't think a lot of people expect to see is on these roads, especially up on mountains, when there is construction going on, they actually set up little tiny street lights on the road. That's right. There are street lights on the road and they look like this. And right now, there are about two seconds until it turns blue and then they are green to go. That's when it's cut down to one lane and they're doing construction. And so they set it up so that each side is either obviously red or... And that's another thing, if you didn't already know this, there's a thousand pieces of content out there, including a Tokyo Lens podcast episode where we talk about how... Also, it's not flashing to me. That's totally a camera thing. In Japan, they say there's red lights and blue lights instead of red lights and green lights. In fact, Aomori means blue forest because once upon a time there was no distinction between the color green and color blue in Japan. So, and I want to go back and give a huge thank you to Alex Forrester for keeping these super chats rolling saying, love your video and streams. Thank you for sharing your passion and wonder for Japan and exploration. So also, this is, this is as far as it's gonna let us walk. I, I tried to walk past here and then my legs get stuck on this bar and I can't walk past here and it's, it's sad. So I'm gonna walk back this way. So I mentioned that I'm working on a piece of content for a major Japan Expo right now. And one of the things that I mentioned in that piece of content is how the passion for Japan, my love for Japan, had taken a backseat for so long as I just tried, as I went into survival mode, as we all do at some point. You get that job, you get the home, you gotta make sure you pay off all your bills, you gotta pay for all your food, and you just go into just trying to survive, and life becomes a lot more fun, and the things you love can take a backseat. And for a while, the passion for Japan took a backseat for me. And the more that it comes back, the more that I want to create and produce for you guys. And I would say right now, since starting the channel, I think you can see it in the content. I think you can feel it in the content. I am probably at the absolute peak that I've been so far and it doesn't feel like it's stopping anytime soon. The passion just keeps rolling. I'm so excited and so happy. So thank you so much for that. Randy as well, keeping the ball rolling saying thank you for all of your hard work that brings us the amazing videos and streams. I appreciate that. I would love to take all the credit and say, yes, lots of research and planning went into this. But really, while I kind of planned out the route, the, the Patreon crew did a lot of the legwork for planning this adventure and the spots that we were to visit. So a massive thank you to them and thank you so much to you as well. Speaking of which, Diane keeping things rolling here by saying, Hey Norm, thanks for all you do. Explore always. I think it's time that we retire some of the current Explorer always merch that's out there and create like a 2021 version. Mind you, 2020 and 2021 just kind of feel like they're all rolling together into one just blah. And so... I don't know, maybe we'll preemptively create Explore Always 2022 and say coffee shop here. I'm gonna walk down this way. And obviously we're gonna take the more difficult road because that just seems like a heck of a lot more fun. And Haru in here, keeping things rolling, saying thank you so much for doing all of these streams. They really helped me feel a lot happier while I work. 
You know, we'd gotten the, <laughs> the comment earlier. I'm watching this in a tiny window. Look at this. I'm watching this in a tiny window while I work. And I'll admit, honestly, my last year at my full-time corporate job, that is literally all I did. I was like, you know what? Abusive company full of angry management and I am just not, I'm not here for it. And so there was a lot of minimized windows as I worked. <laughs> just a lot of YouTube, a lot of The Office as well. Good times, good times. They did their best to block stuff, but you know, there's only so much they could do. So huge love to all of you who are watching this from work. I'm gonna keep an eye on the signal because I don't trust it. And Patricia in here saying, I can't believe this is the last live stream of this trip. These have been a huge part of my week. Thank you for making my days more enjoyable. Can't wait for the next adventures. Honestly, neither can I. It has been so much fun. And yes, this is our last official live stream of this week. So again, don't be too sad because every single day I have still recorded a 4K walk through some of the most gorgeous areas of Japan that I have ever seen. And we're getting into that signal dead zone and I don't really trust it. So fingers crossed. I'm gonna walk fast. If it cuts out, we will be back. Just listen to my words and let me know where I cut off so I can pick up from there and we'll go and explore a little bit more of the town of Ghetto. <laughs> if this stream doesn't just completely cut out and die. And Alistair Vec. How's it going? Thank you so much for being in all of these streams this week as well. I don't think blue is used in the Odyssey either. Homer describes the sea as being wine colored. So have our eyes changed? It is entirely possible that they have. There are actually amazing pieces of content out there that talk about, there are podcasts and articles and scientific studies that talk about color and how we see it. And it always takes me back to the, uh, gre the, 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 what is it? White and gold versus blue and black dress and that whole thing, if you remember that. So yeah, so a huge thank you, Alistair, for that. I appreciate you keeping things rolling and always being here for these streams. I feel like we're like getting really close to that zone where we're gonna cut out. So again, and there's a question saying, are you doing, I'm doing one single video of this entire week for the main channel. It's just little snippets from every day since I've had to put so much effort into the, the streams and driving. It has been hours and hours of driving every single day. So, and Annette keeping things rolling saying, thanks for a week vacation in Japan. This is for coffee and food. I'll tell you right now, 100% really looking forward to the food. It's about that time of day. And um, since it's the last live stream of this trip, can you treat us to a Norm rap song? Well, I don't know if it's a rap song, but I'm going to go back to our duck song because we, we've done a lot of little jingles this one, but I'm going to go back to our quack. I'm a duck. Quack, quack. Let's play Hachi Quack. I'm a duck. Quack, quack. Let's play. That's my new official favorite song. So it's out there now. Quack. I'm a duck. Quack, quack. Let's play. Hey and bye. Wabi Sabi Adventures, thank you as well. There are so many of you who have just joined in for every single one of these live streams this week and it has been so much fun to have you. I've tried to kind of vary the time of them doing some in the morning, some in the evening, some during the daytime, but either way, whether you've watched them live or whether you've caught them after, I really, really appreciate classic LOL duck. 
Quack, I'm a duck, quack, quack, let's play. Actually, you know what? That, that, that actually does feel like a t-shirt coming on. It's kind of funny that the official human line of Tokyo Lens sweaters and whatnot started as a comment in a video. And Tesla. It's kind of rare to see a Tesla out in a place like this. You see them quite often in Tokyo. And another huge thank you. I want to give a massive, massive shout out to the Color 12 who has been mapping these walks and sharing them with us on the Patreon Discord. They are all listed there. They are all pinned and everything. And when I get back to Tokyo and I get a free moment, what I'm going to do is I'm going to collect them and put them in the descriptions of this. It might be a week or two before I can get to that. But again, a huge, huge shout out and massive thank you to the Color 12 for putting in all the time to do that. I've honestly always wanted to do it and it's just not been possible. So massive, massive thank you. And it's just super nice that we've got it all right there on the Discord. And it seems like it's that time of day where the little ones are quacking their way to school. But I wanted to explore this river area earlier. So we're going to do that. Who likes the little, little duckies in the pond? Is that a song? It sounds like it is. I'm loving just this whole setup here. The way it all fits in so nicely together. Look at that. It could be a song. It feels like it could be a song. Yes, and I just wanna say another huge thank you to the mods who have made this entire week possible. Let's explore a little over here. I really appreciate the effort that they all put in. Okay, it's just a tiny little section here, but still worthwhile to check out. Little residential space here. And Comet Kitty says something that I have to echo because I believe so much, especially considering the fact that I have a lot of friends who are content creators. And if there's one thing that I would say me and maybe my good friend Sharla are the envy of the community of is that this honestly has to be the best little YouTube community. Everyone here is just so nice and awesome. I really, really appreciate the nonstop kindness from all of you not just towards me but towards each other as well you guys chat with each other you guys hang out you kind of get to know each other i've seen entire friendships form in the comments section and over on patreon and the discord i've run into people completely separately in person and then watched them form a friendship over years i've done tokyo lens meetups where people then send me photos later on and they're like hey we're still hanging out and i just absolutely love the community that we have here so I wanna say a huge, huge thank you to all of you, plain and simple, just for being who you are. So this here is called Ujo Park. And it seems like we've got a bit of a hiking path here. Which is obviously, oh, there's always hiking paths. As soon as you get to the mountains in pretty much any town, you're gonna find a hiking path. You just need to find the entrance to it. Ah. And here we're saying, are you going to walk Three kilometers, LOL. My guess is that we've already long since passed three kilometers. Yeah, guys, 
Just today already, we are at 7,000 steps and 5.2 kilometers. So we've already long since passed the three kilometer mark. And a big love and thank you to Alistair here for keeping the super chat ball rolling, saying, just join the Patreon. Looking forward to it, Alistair. That's amazing. Thank you so much. Super excited. Super excited to have you. Look forward to getting to know you better over there. We have a lot of fun over there. And you get to see the entire behind the scenes from this trip, all the posts, all the planning, and you get to help us plan the next trip. So thank you and welcome. And how do I get over there? That's what I want. That's what we gotta do again, every single time. It feels like a Zelda video game. This is actually a nice little, okay, all right. So these stairs here, it's a short staircase, but they're fairly even. They're moss covered, which definitely adds a lot. I will say a solid six out of 10. If they were longer, they'd probably get more, but a six out of 10 for those stairs. And color 12 following along on Google Maps, letting me know there should be a bridge coming up. Woo, the sun is finally up over the mountains. Sunrise in this area was actually at 447. It is currently 721. You would think there'd be a bridge. Do I just have to walk across? Is that what we're doing? Like, I feel like I probably could. Maybe the path loops, maybe it does, or maybe we just walk across. Jaywalking on water. Like these rocks feel like they would almost get us across, but it feels like the water level is just too high. There's gotta be some way to get across, right? There's gotta be some way. Do we do it? Do we try? It can't hurt. Do it for the stream. I might just... Everyone's just like, do it, do it, do it. All right. Um, well, I have good news for you guys. You see, when I do trips where I walk this much, I bring multiple pairs of shoes so that I can alternate. And uh, there we go. You see, after you wear shoes and you walk for an extended period of time, they compress and they need a day or so to recover. So today I have water shoes. Uh, let's see how slippery this is. It's not too bad. There we go. Woo. Pants are getting pretty wet though. Woo. Now the shoes are definitely safer than going barefoot. There we go. Ah, now climb up the rocks here and we made it. There we go. And the shoes just drain out from the bottom and they're fine. So we made it. Sometimes in Zelda, you have to make your own path. <sighs> and spider webs, you have to make your own spider webs. That's a thing. That was actually really refreshing. Despite the so 
soaking wet pants. The water level got a little higher there than I was originally anticipating. Still worth it. <laughs> Patricia in there, keeping things rolling with a cool sticker. Thank you. All right, well, we're not going in the fond, the fond, the fountain pond. <laughs> it just became, it just became fond. We're not going in the fond. But I do want to see if we had kept going that way, what would it have led us to? What would we have found? What we would, what would we have seen? Zach is saying that a couple weeks ago, I walked 50,000 steps in a day, which if you get the chance, you should totally try. Quite painful though. So when my little brother Jesse came out and spent some time in Japan, him and I would do incredible walks every single day. And I still think the most we hit in any single day was like 40, 42,000 steps, somewhere along there. We never got into the 50,000 zone. So that's an incredible amount of walking. Just wow. And Type Beast reviving the super chat saying for crossing that river when we came to it. Oh, look at that. We'll cross that river when we come to it. And we did. We absolutely did. But I'm gonna laugh so hard if we get to the end of this and there's just like a bridge. Also a little performance stage here. Whew. Okay, uh, all right, now we're gonna ignore that because that's a weird question. Look at this. Can you guys still hear me more than you hear the water? Because I hear nothing but the water. All right, so this stairway here has nice arm guards. It's got good moss covering, but right dead smack in the middle is this spider web that I'm not a huge fan of. We're gonna try and duck under. We managed to duck under it, whew. All right, so these stairs here, Get a solid six and a half to seven. The spider web made them lose a full point. All right. Oh. I don't think this park ends. Oh. Look at that, once upon a bench. <laughs> that's, that's what that is right there. That bench has just 100% been taken back. That's crazy. So there's a giant spider web here. And it's like the spider web saw me from a distance and panicked and ran. You can usually like shake the web and they don't move. And Eddie is in here saying, Norm, Barry was hit by a tornado today. Some major damage, but no one died. Wow, um, thank you for giving me a heads up. I actually have family out in the area of Barry, Ontario. So I think the second that I wrap up with this live stream, I'm gonna give the fam jam a shout and see if everyone's okay and they haven't suffered too much damage. Hopefully everyone's all right. Thank you for letting me know that. Really appreciate it. Woo. And Krishna in here, keeping the super chat ball rolling at once again, saying your enthusiasm and dedication is in my role. <laughs> Apparently my English isn't though. Thank you, 
for sharing all these beautiful views with us. I feel like I say it pretty much every single time, but honestly, thank you for joining along. I do say it every time. Because I feel, oh, now the adventure really starts. Can you guys see the sign? That's when you know the adventure has gotten real. We are pretty much almost in the mountains at this point. So let's see where it takes us and how long the signal lasts. Now here's a unique little stair set. I'm gonna give this stair set right out of the gate a nine out of 10 simply because I just heard someone yelling. What? Is it yelling or is it announcements? What is that? What am I hearing? I can't hear it over the, okay. Whew, maybe jump. You can probably see it in the stream. So these stairs here very strongly remind me of the stairs that were run down along the, the, the side of the onsen in Sento Chihiro no Kamikakushi, the Spirit of the Way movie. And so these get a solid nine out of 10. They probably would have gotten a 10 out of 10 had they been covered in just a little more moss. And, okay. I wanna know what is up those stairs. I definitely wanna know. Okay. I'm glad that we're back. And since we're back, I want to read out this insanely generous super chat from Nikki Powell saying, this is for everything you do and the joy you've brought to us. Wow, honestly, just that alone, thank you. Anakin is super excited to watch this with me. It's been a huge bonding experience for us. I'm really happy to hear that. He says he's now a true fan and will go everywhere that you have streamed with. Aw, that is so sweet. Honestly, you guys are just incredible. And I absolutely love that. Thank you so much for sharing those words with me, Nikki. It means the world. Honestly, thank you. So, hi fi And we're gonna sprint up those stairs. I wanna know what's up there. I have to know what's up there. There's gotta be a bridge somewhere. We're gonna sprint up those stairs. If we lose connection, we lose connection. I'll try to come back. Who knows what'll happen? We're gonna do it. We're gonna do it in three, two, one. Oh, I failed that. No, I'm, just, <laughs> I'm just kidding. All right, all right, we're really going now. Here we go. We're gonna run up the stairs and hope that we can survive. Here we go. I think it's this wall blocking it. Oh, wow. Well, that's the end of the path right there if I've ever seen one. I don't think we're going anywhere. I think we're stuck. That's the end of it. Path fail. Bit of a glitch in the matrix. <laughs> They weren't able to update the map fast enough for me. All right. Going down just feels, now I really feel like Chihiro. Woo. There we go. All right. Those stairs have also been upgraded to a full 10 out of 10, simply because they led me to a place where they weren't able to keep the map updated well enough. That's right, Norm outran the map.
And unfortunately, I have no clue what the announcement was about. Because of this water over here, all I could hear was like, it, it was just, we were in the world of Charlie Brown. It was just, it was nothing but the cadences. Just glitch through invisible walls. Whew. Oh no, I forgot about the spider web on the next set of stairs. Ah. Uh. And Diane has asked if we can see the koi on the wall again. We'll jump back for a second to see the koi on the wall. Do what I can for you. There you go. Woo. There they are. Excellent. I worry about this area killing my signal, so. You guys are like an FPV drone right now. Just flying through the trees. A morning jog stream. That sounds terrible. I do not think I'd be able to jog and keep up with walking at the same time. We've seen this side now, and we know there's a giant spider web down there. Oh, it gets pretty strong here. Baby steps, baby steps, baby steps, and very wet pants with the baby steps. Oh, there we go. Woo. Watch out for koi attack. <laughs> I got locals over behind me here who are most certainly looking at me like, did that guy just walk through the river? Did he just let go right? I think he, he went through the river. Ooh. Oh, wow. Is anybody else feeling like the hydrangea walk over here would be a good idea? Because I know I am. And as we do this, I'm going to grab yet another drink of my quickly depleting Koi White Coffee. Hashtag not sponsored. There we are. Water gets pretty quick sometimes. <sighs> so, this is our river walking course. Uh, these stairs, pretty easy to go up. They allow you to bring a bicycle, but again, no real emotional attachment to them. In fact, I barely noticed them. So, we're gonna go ahead and give these stairs a solid 4.5 out of, wow, look at these. And Kalinka, how's it going? Kalinka in here saying, good morning and yes, hydrangeas. And Apple Dave in here keeping things rolling with CA. 
So these stairs here look like they lead up to just town and property. So I want to enjoy the hydrangea walk. We're going to skip them, but because of the beauty and the winding stone nature, these stairs here get a solid eight out of 10. <laughs> 4 5 out of wow yeah that kind of just came together like that Woo. look at all of that and that was the hydrangea walk so we'll head back to the river because it's more open space and hopefully can maintain quality a bit better. I was a mouse. Look at that. <sighs> nice little gardens. Wait. Oh, okay. Ooh. There we are. <sighs> oh yeah, I barely noticed those stairs. See, if I don't notice them, they're instantly a four or lower. Because I really didn't notice those stairs, we'll give them a solid three. So right now, it is currently 741 here in the town of Ghetto. And if you want to get up to this road, they didn't even have stairs for that, so they've just plugged this little, wow, well, just plugged this little ladder thing here. Now these stairs here have some nice cover. They're made out of wood, which would almost definitely get slippery when it's wet. I'll give these a solid 4.3. Also, they're really on an angle. So they feel super easy to fall down. Those were the spider stairs over there. Whew. Really nice little walking path though, to be honest. And Kirsten in here saying, get a really hearty breakfast and coffee. Thank you for this week full of awesomeness. Honestly, thank you so much for joining it. As we mentioned at the beginning of this stream, which was a ton of fun, if you haven't caught it, I recommend going back and catching at least the first half hour or so and our run through the tunnel up to the station but this is going to be the last official live stream of this week. And we have pre-recorded videos from some of the most gorgeous spots that I've ever been to in Japan coming up in the days and weeks to come. I will be going out and recording one more video today. And then the goal is to get back to Tokyo by tonight. Fingers crossed. And when I get back to Tokyo, there is a ton of editing and exporting and file sorting to be done. And then we get to start editing the next adventure. The next video coming out will be a peek into what I pack for these long trips, how I survive on the road for a full week. Look at these, okay. This set of stairs here, that brings out some emotion. These are beautiful stairs. Especially their positioning with a little stream over here and the trees. These are a solid 7.5. They would have been a little bit higher if either A, these had a little more greenery or B, they were just a little more covered in moss. But either way, beautiful, beautiful stairs. And Tim is asking a very good question. Are you going to release any of the other videos as premieres? And the answer to that, Tim, is a big old yes. 
every single other pre-recorded video is going to be released as a premiere. So no problems whatsoever there. That is how we are playing it. It is premiere town. That way we can hang out together. Is this a set of stairs or do I just jump down that ledge? Okay. We're not going that way. So we'll go to these stairs, which the mossy beautifulness of them instantly gets them a solid five. And it leads us to these stairs, which I, I don't like this. So these are two and they're super narrow. My feet don't even fit on them. So they've been downgraded to a one. Also, if you're just joining in the stream now and you're like, why, why is Norm rating stairs? You're going to want to go back to the beginning of the stream for that one. There we are. And as we get back this way, we are re-approaching the town of Ghetto. And now for the real adventure, the super exciting game of how do I find the camper van? Where has Norm parked? No clue. And somewhere also, this is the most amazing part because you see, there aren't that many things on our Patreon adventure map between here and Tokyo. So I today will be personally choosing a location for us to go and explore for a Tokyo Lens Explore premiere 4K video and hopefully shooting that before heading back. Mind you, a lot of it is also time dependent, hoping that I will be able to get there in time to still get back to Tokyo because I got to return the van today. Just love the look of this. Oh. And I have a rock in my shoe again, so we're going to go ahead and stop and take that out. It has been towed. That was the announcement. Oh no. Tim saying that the announcement that we heard while we were in the forest there is them saying that they've towed it. They've towed the camper van. It's gone. I'm walking back to Tokyo now. So now that would be a live stream. That would be an insane and painful, ridiculous live stream. Just like walking from Tokyo to Kanagawa or walking from Tokyo to I don't think I have battery banks that would last me long enough to enable me to do that much walking or streaming. And I don't think any Wi-Fi or 4G data plan in the world would allow me to do like 15 hours of streaming, but we'll try. Shauna, thank you so much. It's okay. We've We've roughly found the station area. We're doing all right. Don't give him ideas. He'll just go ahead and do it. Woo. I'm really glad that we got this weather for a ghetto today. We've actually been wildly fortunate and I've got a I've got to put that all to you guys. At the very beginning of this trip, I said, hope for good weather. This entire week was marked for nothing but rain and thunderstorms. And to be honest, there was a pattern this week. There was a pattern of arriving in a place as it was raining and then the rain going away just in time for our stream. And I feel like this was just meant to be a beautiful week for you guys to enjoy and I'm really really happy that it played out this way I was fully prepared 
to spend the entire week live streaming with an umbrella over my head, just walking through these places in the rain. But you get such a nicer picture with the blue skies and the mountains in the background than rain and overcast and not being able to see the mountains and just looking at the city streets. And since our next set of little live stream adventures are gonna take place right inside of Tokyo before we head off on our next big live streaming adventure, which is already being planned out, I'm glad that we could enjoy all these mountainous areas and areas with castle views and all these back street castle towns and onsen towns. I'm really, really, really glad we could do this. So, and also for like long walks, it's not so much the issue of the walk or the distance as it is could I actually legitimately stream the entire thing without running out of data? I, even if they say unlimited data, unfortunately they put a cap on it. So once you've crossed that cap, they're like, oh, you've overused your unlimited data. And then they just throttle your phone and all of a sudden streaming becomes impossible. And that's what the beautiful company of iVideo does to me every time. Thanks iVideo. You're quickly making your way up to the likes of my love for GoPro by doing that and making it so that I've got to 4G my way through these streams instead of Wi-Fiing them. Because then I always walk around nervous that we're gonna we're gonna run out of data. Because SoftBank is like, yes, you you can have 30 gigabytes of data, but as soon as you use 20, the last 10 are gonna be heavily throttled. So I'd love to do a long, super, super far walk, but there are limits. I feel like we would be doing a long, super far walk somewhere. We're going to try it at some point, but partway through, it's just going to be like, and you've run out. Have a good day. Goodbye. And that's how our stream will end. We won't know when. It's like the Russian roulette stream. You just... Let this car go by. You have no idea when it's gonna end. <laughs> Kalinka, thanks so much. Data mofiosos tut tut tut. Or also, there's no reception. Yeah, that would also be a bit of a, a concern. Walking a very far distance through like mountain paths and whatnot. And we're like, tra la 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 la, four hour dead space, no signal. A lot of this drive that I've done out to here has been like that. I've had like 30, 40 minute segments at a time that have just had absolutely no signal whatsoever. So. Look at that. Back to our frog friend. I always love the way the Japanese houses get built up the mountains here. Also, can you guys hear the squeaking of my shoes? My shoes are super, super squeaky now since since walking through the water. This is actually a really, really good question here. Uh, it says, what percentage does YouTube take for the super chat? Is it better to support on Patreon? And I love Patreon because of the community. And honestly, it's like, it's the same as tossing in a super chat, really. And YouTube does take a pretty big chunk of all super chats, which is kind of painful. But also, Patreon gives you access to monthly videos, the whole Discord server. It gives you access to all the behind the scenes live streams on the secret Instagram account, and all the posts, the updates, the ability to choose spots for these streams, little merch design competitions, giveaways, you name it. We have a ton of fun with it. So. If you really 
come down. If you're like, I want to do one, but I'm not sure which, come over to Patreon for a month or two. Hang out, see what it's like. I would love to have you and we get to know each other a bit better. And my shoes are so squeaky. I feel like you've got to be able to hear the squeaky shoes. And <laughs> Diane, some frown upon having a career in YouTube, but channels like this bring so much joy to life. Thanks Norm for being a great content creator and overall human. I appreciate it. To be honest, these explorations are also an opportunity for me to search out and find stories, find and meet people, find the next person whose story I want to share, the next documentary that I want to make. And that's what I really love about this. We need, the world needs authors and storytellers. And I try to do what I can to capture stories and places and share them as they are in this moment in time, because eventually they won't be like this. So I'm glad that you enjoy it. And quite honestly, anybody who'd look down on content creation or art as a career format is somebody who probably just wishes they could have done something like that themselves and isn't a huge fan of what they do. Because in honesty, it doesn't matter what job you do. If you really enjoy it, there's an art form to it. There's always an art form to it. And if you don't enjoy it, there probably isn't. So... I, at one point, when I did not like my job, when I was not happy with things, I was looking at my friends who are YouTubers and I was like, how is that, how is that a job? Is that real? And now I look at myself as a content creator and I work harder in any given week than I used to work in any given month before I started YouTube and content creation. So it is, it is nonstop go, go, go. I used to work eight hours a day. Now I work 24 hours a day and enjoy every single one of those hours rather than hating eight hours of the day and looking forward to the remaining hours. Honestly, I used to hate eight hours of every day and look forward to the remaining 16, six of which were sleep. But now I love every single hour so and if you want the full rating on these stairs these are the steps that we started the live stream with so they've already been rated early early on and if you notice again the sun has only now come up over the mountains at around 8 a.m And there's that view. Oh, look at that. And this view has already been shared to both Twitter and Instagram, if you haven't seen it already. So feel free to go and connect over there. Again, I really like getting to know you guys. So leave me something in the comments when the live stream wraps up so I know you were here because I didn't get to read all of the chats that came through. And I love looking back and reading all of the comments on this and on Tokyo Lens. I literally read every single comment. So go back when this is done, leave me something in the comments. Go back to previous days so you get bonus points and bonus love if you go back to the previous streams from the past couple of days and leave me something in the comments as well. I would love to have you there. To everybody who has made this adventure possible, I just want to, you know what? I'm going to unplug this. I'm going to turn this around. I want to, oh, it is, it is hot. I will tell you what, I'm going to put my hat there for a second, put this view in the background and <laughs> from me to you, I just want to say, I got my charging cable from me to you. I just want to say a huge thank you to all of you for joining this week of live stream adventures. It's, it's almost sad that it's that is coming to an end. But again, we have tons of extra videos coming up. In fact, I'm hoping to go out and record one today. This has been an absolutely lovely week. I want to show you guys something because I 
I've actually got the camper parked right down there. That's the camper right there. So it has been so much fun, so much fun to spend this week with you. This is live stream adventure number one. Live stream adventure number one. There are more coming. The next one we're gonna be doing is going through Tokyo and then a bit of a cow lick there, just a wee bit. A bit of a cow lick there, just, it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. But I'm gonna turn this back around because I, I'm enjoying looking at the view and all I'm doing is staring at the reflection of the view in the thing. So two, uh, I just want to call the last two here. Kalinka saying, stop being so wholesome. LOL, just keep being cool. Thank you so much. Cookie Ninja saying, thank you for the streams. Honestly, thank you. And Mil Milena saying, thank you for the amazing stream. Have a safe trip. To every single other one of you who are leaving stuff in the chat, thank you so much. I've had such a great time chatting, hanging out, and interacting with you. We're going to do a little intermission. We're going to go back to Tokyo. We're going to upload some 4K videos, gorgeous spots around Japan, and we're going to do some live stream walks through Tokyo at different times of the day. And then we're going to get on our next road trip live stream adventure it is right around the corner just a couple weeks away so thank you guys once again so much for being a part of this you know I want to I want to I, I want to look at you and say this I want you to I really really have enjoyed this week you guys have made it super special I've loved hanging out in the chat with you again don't forget to leave me something in the comments when it all wraps up that way I can see you that way I can respond if I can I'm gonna drive from here I've pinned out probably between six and nine hours of driving today. I'm going to go do that. If you haven't given the subscribe button that little bit of love or the like button that little bit of love, I encourage you guys to do that. Thank you to the mod squad, the Patreon crew, the commenters, everyone so much. And you guys know, you know, I will see you again real soon. Love you guys. Oh yeah, make sure you turn on all notifications so you don't miss streams. All notifications, bell, double clicked, all that stuff. Love you guys. Bye-bye. Thank you. Can't say it enough. Thank you. Thank you, thank you.